Okay, now we have Russell Hinkle for a moment of inspiration. And then we're gonna take another small break and let Antara set up. And then we still have more speakers. So. And they get hotter. Uh, yes. Mike yes. Jack! Mike Jack! Mike Jack! Mike Jack! Who's park? Who's park? Who's park? Who's park? Who's street? Who's street? Who's street? Who's street? Who's state? Who's state? Who's country? Our country! I hope I'm uh, inspiration. <laughs> Greetings from the steps of the Supreme Court, where last Sunday is where I spent part of the afternoon. Greetings from the inside of D.C. jail, where I spent the rest of Sunday and part of Monday. I would like to thank Occupy Richmond for allowing me to speak. I would like to thank Cornell West for motivating me to want to speak. And as I've walked around these last few days here, a few folks aren't real familiar with Dr. West. If you are not, please, when you go home or back to your tent or you get access, Google him. He hope, I think he will inspire you as well. I'd also like to thank my friend Sue back there who has helped me stay in Richmond and she too is very much an occupied person although she can't get out to camp and do things like that but thank you sue i am russell from kentucky i would like to first apologize for the bumbling bigots in kentucky electing mitch mcconnell and Rand paul i apologize i can't i tried i could do nothing about it now my story last sunday I went to the dedication of the uh, new Martin Luther King Memorial, Woo! and I'm away. Yes, it, it was wonderful. There were way more people there than the, the day before, which was a jobs and justice march uh, put together by Al Sharpton. <laughs> On my way back from the dedication, right beside the Washington Memorial, uh, the yeah, the Washington Memorial. I saw a little piece of paper that said Occupy DC. And I had been aiming, you know, I, that was another reason that I'd come to DC was to see what was happening with the Occupy movement. So I go out, I go over there, and like I did here the first day, I was just walking around a little bit, taking pictures, and up pops Cornell West. I, I had no <laughs> idea that he was going to speak that afternoon. And what Cornell said that motivated me the most, in connection with Martin Luther King, he said that if Martin Luther King Jr. was here today, he would be a part of the Occupy movement. He would be here amongst us now. Amen. Cornell went on to say that he felt like the best thing that he could do to honor the dedication of the Martin Luther King Memorial was to be was to get arrested. I thought that was a pretty good idea also. So the <laughs> folks there at Freedom Plaza, about 250, 300 of us, we marched to the Supreme Court. This was an impromptu deal. Uh, the police, of course, got there quickly and escorted us, I guess. As soon as we stepped on the first step, which there is, in case you don't know, there's a law, you cannot protest on the steps of the Supreme Court. We moved up. <laughs> because they didn't expect us, we caught them with their pants down. We moved up a couple more steps. We kept going. Cornell, uh, as, as he is wont to do, uh, made some very good remarks about the citizens, uh, the, com the citizens of the Commonwealth the Supreme Court case in 09 that now allows anybody to contribute any, any amount of money they want to. We went further, and according to Cornell, and you can again Google this. He has all kinds of websites. This was a historical protest because no one else had ever got, we almost got to the door before they said, you're going to jail. While we were in jail, I, I did more listening than I did talking, but I did have a few questions of Cornell. One was, what are we gonna do about Brother Obama? Cornell said, we need to work inside and outside. Inside, we need to start contacting our representatives, our senators, our local people. Tell them, you know, the Occupy is wonderful. It, it, it is unbelievable. 
but there are some things that we can do of a positive nature to maybe get some changes made by next November. One of those would be work to get your senator and House of Representative person that you want in there, that the Occupy would want in there. We have to do that. From the outside, Cordell said, Occupy, Occupy, Occupy. And that's what I've tried to do, why I'm part of the reason that I'm here in Richmond today. There are some websites that you can go to and sign some petitions that are, that are not directly aligned with the Occupy. I'll have some material here tomorrow for anyone who's interested. You can also go to Facebook, the Occupy Facebook or my personal Facebook, and you can see those as well. My biggest thing that I have been doing since for a long time, longer than I want to remember, in all war. Mic check! Mic check! In all war! In all war! Mic check! Mic check! In all war! In all war! We are! We are! The 99%! The 99%! Thank you for having me. Amen, brother! Woo! Love you, brother! All right, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll let you know when the band's ready to go. Um, if you're cold, check with Comfort, which is right next to the kitchen. They probably have some hats, gloves, sweaters, blankets, and stuff. And Comfort. There's something to say, David? Yeah. We got my check. My check. My check. We've got a few pizzas left over. We have a few pizzas left over. We got three of them. That's three of them. is vegan. <laughs> so if you absolutely what? need something to eat, we're trying to get arrange something else. We've got one vegan. Please save that for those of you who are vegan. We've got two more for the rest of us. That's six inch slices. I'm very sorry. We're trying to make more accommodations right now. Thank you. Also, uh, thank you, Ian, for bringing these guys. Isaac Ramsey, if you see him, and then you get him for a bank street analogy because he actually took the initiative and went by himself for us. But bought it here for us. Okay. I don't know if you know that.